The mayor of Bloomington says the prospect of migrant arrivals in McLean County is an opportunity, not something to be rejected. The County Emergency Management Agency has been told to coordinate getting any migrants who arrive in the county to Chicago. In this interview with WGLT's Charlie Schlenker, Mayor Mboka Mulambwe says it might not be that simple. Chicago might not be able to take them right away. It's a very complicated situation. We don't really know exactly how many people, you know, would end up here. Is it a busload? Is it two? Is it three? Are they actually coming here? You know, we actually already have some that, you know, kind of trickled into the community. So we're, we're just going to do the, the best that we can. The one thing that's been good about those conversations when uh, we started hearing that that was a possibility is that we've had a chance to kind of talk about the what ifs, who would do what, but without necessarily having a ton of specifics, you know, about uh, uh, you know, location. What do we have as, you know, city services that we could um, use to, you know, to, to, to help people? You know, there could be health issues, safety, but also uh, children. You know, how do you... So uh, how can this? the city contribute? What sort of services would the city contribute to the overall mix of, of human service agencies and governmental bodies. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, one of the things that we've talked about, for example, and, and I, I don't want this to sound like it's, uh, you know, it's a small thing, but, you know, we have services like the zoo, for example. <laughs> we have uh, other entertainment, but also, you know, could look into possible locations, you know, where we could house people temporarily, <laughs> but also, you know, trying to uh, to connect people with different services for, you know, folks like a um, immigration project, because we, we know where those people are and, and work with those folks. Uh, in other cases, it, it could be working with groups such as the, you know, the Salvation Army, for example. How would the city work with the Salvation Army, for instance? There's always a possibility of, uh, you know, uh, vouchers, you know, for, uh, you know, hotel rooms. Uh, of course, that's a, it can be a pretty expensive proposition. Uh, but if it's for a couple of days or, or something like that, you know, like a temporary stay for, for people until they figure out you know, where else they could go. I think PATH has, has done that also in the past. Uh, so that's also, those are things that we can connect people to those kinds of services. What else? Is the city saying, hey, we've raised our hand, we'll mm -hmm. be part of this if and when? I don't think there is anything uh, too specific at the moment. We simply have offered to be there if something were to happen, if we have uh, people who, who come there. Because it, it is very difficult to be able to plan and to try to figure out how many people are we getting? What, what, what exactly is the need? You know, is, is the need uh, transportation <laughs> from one place to the next? Is the need... Housing is the need. Uh, food is it healthcare? Um, uh, one thing that's also a, a possibility, you know, we do have the mobile care unit, uh, the the partnership that we've created with uh, Carl. Uh, that is also another possibility there. What do you make of the recent initiative mm -hmm. by County Board Member Chuck Erickson to mm -hmm. ban expenditure of? county money on migrants. Yeah, you know, everybody has seen what's happening in Chicago. So uh, anytime you you have uh, limited resources and, and uh, people are called upon to, uh, to use those resources, that can create uh, a little bit of uh, conflict. Uh, so I, I'm glad that the, the discussion <laughs> was had. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, I think the message as laid out by the by the vote is a good message is that we're simply going to try as a community to be as welcoming as possible, because those folks, when they show up, they are people's 
mother, you know, sons, daughters, and I think all of us migrated here at one point or another. And I think we we would have liked to to have the opportunity to, uh, uh, or at least for someone to extend their hand and, and and to help us. When there are issues in the community, I tend to want to look at it from the standpoint of uh, opportunity. We have issues with workforce. (laughs) That could be uh, an opportunity for us to look into and to send a message that, yes, we'll welcome people and we'll, we'll work with them. This is Sound Ideas. I'm Charlie Schlenker. We're talking with Bloomington Mayor Mboka Mulambwe. Well, we're in a new year. Looking back on 2023, what do you think are the major accomplishments of the city? Wow, there's... Too many to, <laughs> uh, to talk about, but I, there are a couple that, that always uh, uh, come to mind. The library, you know, the renovation of the library. You know, every time I, I drive by there, I, I feel pretty good, you know, and pretty proud. Uh, when you're able to renovate buildings and, and offer something good, then it, it draws attention. The west side of the library is uh, was done, um, and then we're looking to finish up the east side of the library, which is great. Other thing uh, as well is O'Neill Park. And despite all the challenges that we have, with supply chain and everything you know things are behind in terms of the the initial schedule but you know we're still getting there and you know it it was nice for me to you know to 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 see people on social media excited about the skate park (laughs) being open uh, and the pool uh, itself the uh, aquatic center uh, will will, it should be open in time for uh, memorial day other things is that you know we've continued to invest, uh, you know, heavily in street resurfacing, uh, a lot more than we have in the past. I remember when I was, uh, uh, you know, when I started as an alderman, you know, it wasn't quite as much, and and now you know we're, we're looking to do that consistently, you know, ten million dollars or or plus, you know, as much as as possible. Um, and one of the things that I would I would mention is the uh, the arena, you know, coming back online and 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 where we're having quite a few uh, events there. So the lights have gone uh, back on after after COVID. We just kind of changed the model a little bit, uh, and then going uh, internally, and and I think it's worked out pretty well. So I kind of look forward to what's gonna happen in in, in the future. And in 2024, what do you think the the signpost accomplishments uh, will be? You know, taking those couple of projects, you know, Library O'Neill, you know, in two to the finish line and that will be exciting to uh to to just kind of you know bring people in and 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 i'm hoping that we can even bring people who in the past you know former aldermen and 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 mayors who have been part of the conversations you know over the years there the the downtown streetscape i I think is also one i i could have mentioned that as a as an accomplishment just to kind of you know get that whole project going because that's not always a it's not always easy. You'll be making some decisions, though. Yes, the, the, we'll be making some. Yes, this year. yes, we will be making some decisions. You know, in terms of how to fund and and that kind of thing. I am thinking also. Uh, you know, we will uh, certainly kickstart. You know, water uh, system improvement. It's a pretty big lift, but one that is very important for for the community. That's Bloomington Mayor Mboka Mulambwe. He spoke with Charlie Schlenker.